Hello everyone. Welcome to the latest video on my channel, Digger Evans Model Railway. What you're looking at here, this very piece, is the rear panel. If we can get it into focus, see if we can. That's it. That's the rear panel of the cab for the Dapple little shunter, jewelry shunter that we're building. As you can see, it's got some rust and what have you, and I've done a couple of things with it. So, I'll talk you through what I've done and show you where we're up to. Uh, these are some of the other parts, and I haven't painted these yet to show you. The first part, if you can see where it's very, very rusty, I'll see how I'll point it out, in, in this point here, and all along the bottom where it's really rusty you'll notice it's shining reflecting the light that's because i've used a masking fluid very similar to masco but a fraction of the cost it's just plain old liquid latex that's the stuff two quid on ebay delivered and it does exactly the same as masco <coughs> excuse me after i've put that latex over i've gone on to use this stuff the chipping fluid chipping medium i call it chipping fluid it's water based which means it's water what it reacts with when you come to move it so what i did then was and it's a bit syrupy it's very viscous uh very thick you know and uh I mixed it down with thinners, acrylic thinners, rather than water, which is a, a really bad idea when you're doing this type of stuff, in my opinion. And I've sprayed the whole lot with, so then it's ready for painting. <coughs> Excuse me. And if any any painting that's done, any water gets on it after we've painted it, that's where it removes the chipping fluid and the paint so that we're getting the scratched and faded look that we want this is a color i chose it's not british rail blue it's plain old blue it looks good enough for what i want to be british rail blue and what i've done you'll i'll show you these now this is the main body and you can see you can see the rust there it looks dark blue what I've done, I've covered that with the latex all the way around. And then the latex is going to be ready to remove. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like when it's removed. I've done the side panels and everything else. Uh, three coats of that blue paint that I just showed you. Very dilute, very thin. Took me time, airbrushed it on. Beautiful job. Now you'll notice the blue on this is quite a lot different from the blue you see in there. And that's because I've done various things to it to make it look like it's been a long time out in the sunshine and rain and facing the elements. As it is now, it, it just looks like a brand new paint job with some rusty bits about to show. So what we'll do, we'll take off some of this latex. That's better. So you can see how it how it works and just agitate it a little bit and then start to rub it there and it just it just rubs and peels off just like that so it, it still doesn't look right yet there's a long way to go that just looks like a, a brand new paint job with a patch of rust and uh, and it will do until we're finished doing what we're going to do and I've got all the way along to do both sides etc etc I'm not going to bore you with peeling it all off now there's a few methods you can use uh, old toothbrush does it it's just to scratch off the uh, the latex that's all it is Pure, purely to get that latex off and out of the way so we can get on with the next next part now that's not completely peeled off but uh, we're on the way there with that 
Now what I will show you is to enhance some of the rust like I've done on this rear panel I've used various life colours and these are, are uh, quite strong pigments in liquid form and I've applied them in, in, in a couple of different ways and the first way I'll do it I'll, I'll show you how I've done is with this uh, really fine brush really fine tip brush there really really hardly anything to it that brush it was a little bit bigger but I uh, I tailor made it and trimmed it down so it was short enough for what I needed now we can see this first colour it's a really bright orangey colour at the moment and I've just got a tiniest amount on the brush the tiny tiniest amount and I'm just going to put a tiny bit just so you can see ever so much now this job it's up to yourself how long you want to spend how much time you've got and what I, if you obviously if you're retired and uh, you've got lots of time you can take your time doing it and spend lots of time and the, the more time you spend in general the better it becomes that is usually the rule. I know you can, they say we're weathering less is more. And in some cases that's very, very true. And in other cases, not so much pain, but more time. And uh, the more time you can dedicate to it, the happier you'll be with the result. Now that's the first tiny bit to get the rest of the paint looking weather-worn and distorted and what have you I've made into a wash I'll just put some thinner I've got some thinner there it's a water based pigment is this life colours and I'm just gonna gently get some of that thinners onto there I've just dipped the brush into the paint and straight into the thinners now it's a water based thinners but if I used water to dilute this thinners a terrible misfortune would happen and the paint would start peeling off which I'm going to do but I only want it to peel off where I want it to peel off and not uh, not just all over the place and basically all I'm doing is just drawing down this pigment whilst it's uh, whilst it's dilute and you can start to see a slight difference here and there and then we've got other colours which I will add to it and it, it, it acts like a wash you can see it going in between those vents and things like that a really pale wash you don't have to get every one and I'll just what I will do I will carry on working with this and the varying colours that I've got until I achieve something like that and i'll be honest with you uh the rusting alone on this after the paint the rusting and coloring i've got about two and a half hours work into that piece so the whole caboodle the whole job lot i, I couldn't possibly expect anyone to sit through me painting everything because It'll go on till tomorrow night, you know, everyone will be on the way home from Strasbourg by the time we're finished. And uh, that's for all you who's lucky enough to be visiting Strasbourg at the moment. So that's just about where I'm up to with it. And I'm going to continue doing that work. Once I've done a bit of that, I'll show you the technique for removing the paint and where we should remove the paint and why. Thank you all very much for looking in. I really do appreciate it. Each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Everyone who sub, give us a big thumbs up and a like if you're liking what you're seeing. And uh, please do subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Thank you very, very much. Bye-bye for now, my friends. And do take care. Bye-bye now.